In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform an independent fit of multiple data sets. You'll also learn how to apply the parameter values of one data set to the other data sets. We begin with a stacked layer graph, and we have a fitting function, a user-defined function, that actually ships with the product, is located in samples curve fitting. We're going to take that previously defined function, drop it onto origin, which will install it so the function is available to us from within the software. We specify the category to make it available. We'll leave it as user defined. Click OK. The file gets copied over to the user files folder where all your other user defined fitting functions would be. If I open up the nonlinear curve fit dialog, analysis fitting nonlinear curve fit, open the dialog. I then want to change my category to user defined so that I can select my new function from the function dropdown. After selecting your function, the next step is to go to data selection. The input data will be pre-populated from the active data set in the active layer. We're going to now add all plots in the active page. So it will add two range, two range inputs, so we should have range 1, 2, and 3, one for each of our data plots in each of the layers. Going to the parameters tab, we will look at, there will be three sets of parameters. The default initial values for the first set is just one. We'll leave these for now, and we're going to click on one iteration. These iter the iteration and fit until converge buttons work for the highlighted data set above. Okay, there's an index drop down, so it's for the first data plot that we're fitting. Our first range. We're going to go ahead and fit with those default parameter values. And as we see from the fit curve displayed on the graph, it's not a very good fit. We're going to need to find out, uh, find some better initial parameter values. So we can go back to the parameters tab and we can enter in values. So let's go ahead and change that one parameter there B and let's enter in negative one as a new initial value. After doing that, we can update the fit curve by simply clicking one iteration. As we do that, you can watch the fit curve on the graph update and check if the fit improves. Clicking again, the fit will continue to improve, and now we can fit until converged. Look at the fit curve on the graph. The fit of that first data set looks pretty good. We're now going to take those set of parameter values, and we right click to pop up the context menu and we're going to apply that set of values to all the other data sets that we're fitting, the other two data sets, to initialize the parameter values. Watch those, those values update in that parameters table. We can select the second data set that will highlight above in the table. We can click Fit Until Converge to fit the second data set. As you do that, watch in your layer, in your graph there, and update, you'll see the, uh, the fit curves drawn. If we click Done, the dialog will be closed with only the first two data sets fit. You can see that our Decay 3 doesn't look so good. We need to update the, we need to do more iterations. So what we're going to do is click on Fit to fit all the data sets. So it'll fit until it converges or give us some 
error if they don't fit. So doing that will fit and then close the dialog. The parameter table is output here, so we can maximize this and you can see the fit parameters that were found as for decay 1, 2, and 3 as part of the fitting. We're going to go to Project Explorer and open up the workbook where we have our report sheet created with the fit results. There's the parameters table, the statistics table. We can scroll down here. We have the fitted curve. We also have the residual plots. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.